What's up guys, Carmine here. On today's episode, we'll be replacing the clutch master and slave cylinder on the Miata. I'm sure you guys have been there before where you're driving through traffic and all of a sudden you lose pressure in your clutch pedal. Usually that indicates a leaky slave cylinder. Thankfully I got the car back to the garage, so today we'll be replacing both at the same time because it's generally a good idea. Let's get to it. All right, here are the replacement slave and master cylinders that we'll be installing today. Let's start by uh, draining this old master cylinder of its fluid, just so we don't make a mess when uh, we remove it. And it kind of looks like the brake master cylinder. Um, it's a little smaller and it's always to the right. So basically wherever the pedal is, that's where the cylinder will rest in the engine bay. Okay, next we're gonna remove this hard line. It's a 10 millimeter nut right here. And then following that, we're gonna remove these 12 millimeter nuts that hold the cylinder to the firewall. Before I forget, I'm also gonna put some uh, towels underneath the cylinder just in case anything falls under. Stuff does eat away the paint if left for a while. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is bench bleed this cylinder. Uh, so what we'll do is just fill it up with some fluid and then push in the rod on this end until fluid comes out of the outlet. So we're just gonna wanna also pop off this cap. And the goal is just to get everything lubricated and have fluid in the system um, before we actually bleed it with everything connected. Then I'll use this guy to push on the rod until fluid comes out. There we go. Now we'll slide the new cylinder in. Before uh, tying it down, we're gonna wanna put the line in just so we'll have more flexibility. All right, with the new master cylinder in place, let's move on to the slave cylinder, which is located pretty much behind the front passenger wheel. And there is the clutch slave cylinder. As you can see, it's same type of deal, we're just going to remove the hard line with a 10 millimeter wrench and then those two 12 millimeter bolts. Okay, so unfortunately when taking off the nut on the hard line to the slave cylinder, it got rounded off and even after using a flared wrench, um, I still wasn't able to get it off. So what I'm going to do is just install this hard line that's pretty generic with the correct size fins on each end and uh, basically just run the line from the slave cylinder to the master over there. So let's see how this goes. But for now, I'm just gonna take off the slave cylinder and hard line as one piece. For the top nut, you're gonna wanna use a pretty long extension. You could get a wrench in there, but it's gonna kinda be hard to move around. Um, so yeah, this should work pretty nicely. And then the bottom nut you want to get from underneath the car. Here's the old slave cylinder. And as you could tell, I had to cut the hard line off. But um, one thing you'll notice is if you cut the boot off and expose the rod and there's fluid that comes out, that's pretty much a sure way of telling that uh, your slave cylinder was leaking. All right, next we're going to prepare the new cylinder. So what we're going to do is open up this bleed port 
and then just pour some fluid in here until it comes out of the bleed pour just to get everything lubricated. Um, and then also we're going to just put some grease on this rod um, just to eliminate any type of chatter that comes from it. Once you see fluid come out, you could tighten it. All right, next I'm gonna just attach the hard line and then drop this in from the top. I figure it'll be easier just to thread it in from now. All right, a little bit of deja vu over here. Take this line off. Okay, next we're just gonna bend this new line in place. Hopefully it's long enough. All right, so here's the new line we ran. Um, we still have to do some zip tie action just to hold it in place or so it doesn't move. But uh, it's not the cleanest or most optimal solution. Uh, if I wasn't in a time crunch and wanted to post this video, I would definitely suggest getting the 949 uh, racing uh, or Goodwin Racing extended line that's basically stainless braided that goes from the master all the way to the slave instead of running a hard line and uh, bending it yourself. But uh, this should work, just not the cleanest. Okay, next we're going to begin the bleeding process and we're going to fill up a bottle about two inches high with some brake fluid. Then we're going to drop a back line through the top and connect the other side to the bleeder valve. And don't forget to keep this reservoir full the whole time during this process. All right, so the bleeding process is pretty simple, but you're gonna need two people. So you'll have one person under the car and they're gonna open the bleeder port. And then at that point, your helper is gonna press down on the clutch pedal and hold it down. Then the person underneath the car is gonna close the bleeder port at which point he'll tell the helper to release the clutch pedal. And you'll just repeat this several times until the person underneath the car is seeing fluid come into the bottle instead of air. Okay, so from here I'm gonna press the clutch pedal. And there's pretty much no pressure at all. And then my helper is going to close the bleeder port. Okay, with the bleeder valve open, we're gonna press the clutch pedal. Then our helper is going to close it. Okay, so then I just got verbal confirmation that my helper has tightened it so I could take my foot off the clutch. And you're just going to want to repeat this process about five to ten times or until all the air is out of the system and you're starting to see fluid go into the bottle. Well guys, I hope you found this video helpful. At this point, you should know how to replace the clutch master and slave cylinder, as well as bleed the lines. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.